A new statue was unveiled in Newark today to honor the civil rights icon A. Philip Randolph. CBS News' Nick Calloway has more on the statue and the artist who created it. I gotta fix some of the cracks. Sterling Brown's latest labor of love is labor leader and civil rights activist A. Philip Randolph. More should be done to let people know who this gentleman was. Brown started with this small clay maquette or model, then came the full size version. This is the head of the actual statue. He carved the seven foot statue right here in his Jersey City studio. Two and a half months just to do the head. Then it was off to the foundry to be molded into brass. Brown has been an artist for 30 years, but this project is different. I'm actually very honored and happy that I was chosen to uh, depict this great gentleman. After seven months in the studio, it's time for the unveiling. We tagged along with Brown as he made the short trip to Newark, where the statue will finally see the light of day. That's exciting, uh, a little nerve-wracking too. The statue gets a prominent place outside Newark Penn Station, a fitting home for a man who integrated the labor movement and helped integrate the nation. Jerry Owens is president of the Essex County chapter of the A. Philip Randolph Institute. He led the effort to have the statue erected. Because we want our kids to be able to walk by here and see that statue of A. Philip Randolph. And we wanted to be educated on African-American kids, which was taken away from us as we come up in this country. It's one of only only three statues of A. Philip Randolph in the United States. His legacy now etched into history in Newark. If he was alive, I think he would be very, really pleased with it. A symbol to remember, standing tall for generations to come. In Newark, Nick Calloway, CBS 2 News. And magical to watch it come together. The statue was put up thanks to a partnership with NJ Transit, which donated the land where it now stands.